Yeah, yeah. this box a little bit bigger. Okay. <laughs> they didn't come, y'all. Kill them up. You know. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Fallen Tide TV. As always, my name's Nate. On today's video, I'm gonna be linking up with my good buddy Damon Abear uh, and a few friends of his. We're gonna be out here in Rice Country in Southwest Louisiana, trying to get on these teal birds. Sounds like they've been doing pretty good. Uh, sounds like we're gonna be in a rice field, probably a pit blind. Uh, I'm pretty excited about it. I'm not used to really hunting like that, so um, anytime I can get out and do something a little bit different around some good guys, I'm excited about it. So. Not really sure how big the group is gonna to be today, but I know we're gonna have a group. You know, if we're lucky, I'd like to be able to get my six birds really quick and then uh, you know grab the camera and be able to get some good shots on camera for you guys. Um, I think that would be an ideal scenario. But look, if, 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 if the morning turns out to be a little bit slow and, uh, and you know we have to stay on the gun and we don't get limits, you know that's fine too. And I don't ever hunt for limits these days anymore. So I'm just excited to get out there and uh, you know get an opportunity to do what I love to do, guys. So. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button. We got a lot of good duck hunts coming up. Uh, you know, we're in teal season right now. October's coming up. Going to be doing a little bit of squirrel hunting in October. And then November, we're right after them ducks. So make sure y'all hit the subscribe button because we got a bunch of good stuff coming up. Let's get into it. Good 
Good dog. COVID here. Good. Get in here. Go. Oh, yeah. Black out front there. Look this one right here over the decoy. Smoke that one. Stay. Right here, y'all. Stay. Come on back. Yeah. What? Let that one stay. In the back. Kill him in the back. Stay. Stay. Here, here. How many is Stay. 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 That's the way goats are supposed to work. Yeah, yeah. Two on the right. Here. Two on the right. Here. Two on the right. Here. 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 I got my phone, so you got to shoot. Two coming in. Oh, a whole group. A big group. Big group. Wait the big ones, dude. Wait, dude. Out the back. In back. <laughs> Go. Oh. Oh, I slipped off this freaking pallet. <laughs> Good dog.
here. Yeah. Any more out there? Hey, that's a lot. Coming in back. Coming in back lot. I should got him here. Go right there. You got work? Yeah. Huh? Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Uh, Miss, I think I'm going to walk out with you now. Huh? I think I'm going to walk out with you so you don't have to leave by yourself. Oh, I changed my mind. <laughs> All right, have fun at work. You're the boss, cuz. Changing freaking office hours, dude. What the frick? Yeah, fluffy it up. You do. Hate to be him. Yeah, make it for 8 o'clock on freaking uh, in September, cuz. <laughs> front, too. Big flock in the front left. Oh my god, in the front. In the front. In the front. Yeah, this flock's a little bit bigger. <laughs> They didn't come, y'all. Kill them up. Get on. Good shot, Jeff. Look right here. Dang. Get it. Good shot. You Man, swim. I would have shot him. Oh, you shot under. Shoot that one on shoot that one on the water. Right here, 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 here. Come here. Shoot the wounded one. No, he's way out there, dude. He's way, way out there. Here, shoot it with this. Where's it at? He's like he, he, he drifted out there, dude. You know what I'm saying? Here. Go. Here. That was set up. That was. That was. Here, 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 here. COVID. Go. Here. 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 See how it stopped him from. Uh huh. Here. I mean, we got that. I just seen him raining in the truck. Here. Here. Mitchell wasn't at the truck yet. Oh, he wasn't. Oh, yeah. Mitchell wasn't at the bike yet. Is that it? I got two more. They got one over here. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Hey, stop.
Y'all fellas having a good time or what? A blast. But Damon and them were shooting them far after they got the flag. Right, 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 right. Got them. <laughs> oh, <you're so> <laughs> <laughs> you mean, man, you mean. Good hunt, fellas. Thank y'all for having me. Oh, Appreciate y'all. We enjoyed your company, buddy. Come <laughs> back anytime. That's what Tree would say and I'll do. All right, we're taking all of our ducks off of this rack to bring them to the, the waxing pot. We hang them up, as you can see these hanging with these fans, it dries them off, gets the feathers real nice and dry, that way when we go and wax them, they come out beautiful, very, very clean, no pin feathers. And uh, we'll demonstrate that here in a little bit. Big fatty right there. Grab one by the head, dip it in the wax, give it a little shake. You want to get all this off that you can. That way you're not wasting wax. And it makes it easier to, to peel it once it cooled off. As much as you can off of there. And this is our cooling vat. This is just water out of the water hose at room temperature. You dump them in there. It's gonna make them cool off and you'll be able to peel all those feathers off of them. All right, we got a good mess of birds waxed and cooled off. As you can see, it's like a piece of petrified wood. And you're just gonna peel it, start peeling it off like an orange. It takes all the feathers off. You can get a little rough with them, but you still got to be a little delicate. Some of them have soft skin. You don't want to rip the skin. The whole point of plucking a bird is to get that good fat cap and make that good brown gravy. Pin feathers, it gets just about every pin feather off too, unless they're really bad. You'll have a few you got to pick off when you're at the sink, really cleaning them up for the most part. And it gets them all out. All right, we got this bird peeled off. You can see how nice and clean that is. That's just a beautiful looking little green wing teal. That's going to make a good brown gravy. Say bon. All right, we got our birds all prepped, ready to do our final step, and that's taking the internals out. A good pair of shears. We cut the neck off. We already cut the wings and the legs off to dip them in our wax. Cut the back end off. And we're going to come up the back on both sides. Right up the backbone. Barely open your scissors a little bit. Stick it right where the crawl would be. Open them slightly and pull down. You got a nice clean bird and your hands don't get all full of blood. Nice clean duck ready for the pot. All right, 
we was riding around, went to Mr. T's and got us some smoked boudin for lunch. We just, dude, do you hear them? The ducks that are in that field. We was just riding around, scouting for ducks, just looking. I wanted to show Nate a little bit of my countryside. and I pretty much know this area pretty good and the set-aside fields, old crawfish ponds, and I come upon one. I don't know if y'all can see the ducks bouncing around, but we're fixing to get out the truck and walk around this tree and a cloud of ducks is gonna get up. Nothing's been done to this field. It's just a crawfish pond that's held water and the natural vegetation that's full of snails and crustaceans and all that tall grass you see is gooseweed and it makes a black seed and it falls in the water. And those little blue wings are just eating it up. Let's go see how many birds are out here. Tell you what, can you, uh, yeah, let's jump it. I really don't want to scare them up. If you could just catch the waves of them. Now yeah, they're just bouncing across. They're getting up from way over there, coming over here. It don't even phase them. This is definitely, a, man, there's, there's so many birds, you can hear them just chattering. Things like this is just awesome to see and watch. I, I could sit here all day and watch these birds bounce around. There's a bunch of blue wings right here. This is the holes you look for. Might find out who owns this and uh, see if we can't slip in here and Knock a couple of them out and leave and let them rest some more. Let's go finish that boot down. <laughs> 